Hi guys, Kevin Beasley from New Start Realty and Relocation here in Surprise, Arizona. Um, I'm doing this video called Five Steps on How to Make Your Rental Application Stand Out Above the Rest When You're Working With Me. So, I do a lot of these guys and I, I got my game down really good. And um, if you're needing renter or buyer representation, give me a call. Okay, 602 920-2201. Now, step one. When you see a property, if you go to my website, rentsurpriseaz.com, um, you're going to see, don't click on the, um, the button, uh, schedule a showing, okay? Don't do that. Write down all the MLS numbers. The addresses won't be there. But it breaks it down by subdivision. This and you can search the whole valley at rentsurpriseaz.com, but it's specially designed for Surprise Arizona. So write down the seven-digit MLS number that's on the side of the listing there, and or in the corner of the listing, and just keep browsing and send me as many as you as you want. But to make your application set, if you see something you like and you want to work with me, give me a call and Give me those MLS numbers. I'll take your name and your email address. I'll write them down. Then I'm going to send you um, an intake package from DocuSign. I call it a lessee intake package. And when you get this package from DocuSign, it's going to have some uh, documents in there that you need to fill out. Um, the first one is the information letter. And I have, this is just a five page information letter that describes, it goes over um, procedures, it goes over all the supporting documents that you're going to need, it's going to go over to when you want to ask questions like, answer questions like when do you want to start looking for a home, um, uh, pet fees, um, and all, cleaning fees, um, security deposits, it's going to go over all that stuff with you. Almost any question that you have, it's going to answer there. So especially if this is the first or second time that you lease leasing a property you you really want to go over that then the second um, you don't have to fill nothing out with that or sign anything there the second one is the lessee questionnaire I've specifically designed this questionnaire because when I call on a property the listing agent is going to ask me certain questions I know what they are because like I said I've done 100 of these things and so I'm going to go, it's two parts, it's, the, it's about question, general questions about you, I'm going to ask about your yearly income, I try to not be too personal, but I'm going to ask about your yearly income, I'm going to ask you about if you've had any foreclosures, um, if you've had any repossessions, if and when and, and uh, um, how long ago, and um, any felonies, I'm going to ask questions like that. And I'm also going to ask you about the type of property you seek. Do you seek a one-story, two-story, what your square foot range is, bedroom requirements, and I'm going to ask you about pets on the bottom part. And it's going to ask about how many pets you have, what kind are they, how much they weigh, and how old they are, and if they have been have shots, and stuff like that. So that's going to come in really handy. You're going to need to fill that out. Then... There's also an agency disclosure in there. This agency disclosure is going to be required on any MLS properties. Now, a lot of green agents or overly anxious agents, they'll go show you properties, and mostly the younger ones. They don't, they don't know how to ask to get it filled out. They never fill this out, but it's actually required in the third column, uh, or I'm sorry, the fourth column of disclosures required is an agency disclosure. Now this is not, I've done a video on this called Agency Disclosure versus Buyer Broker Agreement. So the agent disclosure is simply a procurement doc. If I show you a property, they pay me a referral fee to, to do it. There's no exclusive, you don't have to work with me exclusive. You can sign one for each agent and it allow him to represent you on any property that he shows you. So if I show you 
Uh, you call it, look at my website, and I, we wind up looking at properties. I have the authority to show you that property and represent you on that one. Now, if we don't have, we have a personality clash, or or you call a sign somewhere. Um, now you don't have to work with me. You don't have to ask me to show you. Now, buyer broker agreement. That's a different story. Now you should you should watch that video. It's in my playlist. So because that's different. That's going to tie you. It usually is used to tie you in to work with one agent. But it has other, it has other um, um, requirements as well. It ties you into certain requirements. The Luke flyover map. Guys, here in um, Surprise, we are in a fly zone for Luke Air Force Base. Now, it's not that bad. In fact, we're on the tip of the, of the, of the area. They flew today a good solid hour, but, I mean, it wasn't that loud. And if you've lived here before, you know it's not that bad here. But it's a city it's a city law. It's a city statute, and you're supposed to, each person that you show a property to, you're supposed to give them a map that is designed to show the decibel areas on the fly area. Most of Sun City West gets it, but you know, all them people are vets, they don't care. And El Mirage actually gets more of a sound than we do, but we have to follow the codes there. So you have to sign off on it. And, and so that's it. Once I get that back, oh, uh, let's see, there are some other things too. Oh, send me uh, pictures of your pets, guys. Um, if you have a pet, yeah, send me the picture of it, okay? This way, um, because a lot of property managers, they worry about um, uh, uh, these restricted breeds. And uh, there's a lot of animals. on They're not really cracking down like they were when they had the higher upper hand on the market. But they... They do. They do cover a lot of base. They 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 free us up. To, they don't scare the listing agent so bad. When you send over this this picture of your pet, and it matches up with your intake questionnaire, listing agents are going to really love this, um, because they're going to look at this Leslie questionnaire and say, "Oh, you make seventy thousand a year. Oh, yeah, they like they're going to like you already before they even review your app." And they're going to review your, your pets. They're going to see a picture of a pet because I'm going to have that ready. And they know that they're not uh, just saying, oh, it's a mixed breed dog. And then it's actually a put ball golden retriever mix, a pit bull golden retriever mix. So that's going to look nice. And, you know, put a funny hat on them, too. Make them look really cute. Um, what are the uh, supporting documents? Proof of income, bank statements, pay stubs. Now, um, you guys can send me pictures of your pay stubs along with your driver's license because we're going to need a copy of your driver's license to prove that your citizenship here. That's you're going to need that as well. And you guys can actually use your phones to take. Uh, they have a PDF scanner on your phone, but you can also use a JPEG to send it. But it has to be clear. It has to show your um, year-to-date income on it, and the driver's license has to be readable. Readable. Some of them require the back part of your license too, but I wouldn't worry about that. Just get them the front. Um, if you're self-employed and you want to use bank statements, you know, that's cool. Um, or tax returns. I think I covered that. Um, assignment letter. If you're relocating here from, like, I get a lot of from nurses, um, school teachers, um, law enforcement, people that I've worked with. They'll have an assignment letter that gives them, oh, they're going to start working here at a certain date, and this is what their income is going to be. You have one of those, bam, that covers a lot of real estate right there. They're going to, they're going to, um, uh, they're going to get, it's just as good as a pay stub. Um, the other two documents are optional, but I have a verification of rental history that I use for um, uh, my listings. And I would highly recommend um, you filling that out. I'll send it to a separate email. Give it to your landlord. Fill it out, especially if you have a great um, uh, rental history, but your credit's not so hot. You know, they're going to see this because they're going to probably want to check it out and use their own um, rental application. They're going to want to use their own credit report and they're going to want to use their own rental verification history form. But if they see it, up front, they're going to look at it, and they're going to, they're going to, if you got a good rental 
history, they're going to see it and they're going to like you. They're going to put you on the top of the list above other applicants who don't have it. And a recent credit report, again, this is, if you have a recent credit report and you want me to send it over, um, send it over, but I'll need permission, your permission, to share it with other brokers only. So you'll have to attach it there. Now that looks good. You know, if you have a good credit, because they're going to pull their own credit by law, they're going to, or by their own uh, management rules, they're going to have to pull their own credit and do their own. That's that's a given, okay? Um, but at least they'll be able to see here, dealing if you got like a anywhere between a 550 score uh, or above, and they see that they're going to like it. They're going to like it. So those are five tips on how to make your application stand out. Once you get those over to me, I create a file for you. And we have a lot of the work is done right there. And, you know, that can we can show many properties just on that information. Um, but what will happen next is I'll either customize the search for you or I'll take the MLS numbers that you have. And then I'm going to call the listing agent. Before we even get in the car and go over there and look at them, I'll call the listing agent. And I'm going to check, the, verify the showing instructions, okay? I'm going to, if they have an alarm on the property, I'm going to have, you know, find out how to turn it off. If it's occupied, I want to be able to get permission from the uh, tenant or the owner to see it at their convenient time. Um, and then I ask them if there's any applications on the property. This is real important, guys. Um, when you at, if you're calling on a, a rent by owner or, or Zillow or somewhere and you call on your own unrepresented, Make sure you ask them this. Make sure you to ask them, are there any applications on the property? Uh, if it's with another realtor, by ethics, he has to disclose it. Okay. If it's um, uh, an owner, yeah, they don't have to. But that's the key. You don't want to say, hey, is this available? Because it can be available and they could have five or six apps on it. And there's another uh, video on my playlist called... Um, Fee grubbers and uh, puffer fish. <laughs> you ought to check that out because that could, uh, those guys are headaches as well. So um, uh, once I get that information, I'll call them. I'll go over the lessee questionnaire with them with you. Find out you're a good fit. So you know you're going to like the property the way it looks. They're going to like you because they're going to go over these questions. They're going to, you're already been pre qualified for. And um, or else they're going to tell me, I don't know, Kevin. This guy wants somebody with a 700 score or better. And I'll tell you, hey, you know, we we probably shouldn't waste our time looking at it. But once we go over there, we'll go look at the house, and then uh, if you like it, then you apply for it. I'll give you. It's either going to be a paper app. I'll email you the application, and you can drop it off at the listing broker's office yourself, or you can um, send it to me. And I'll send it over with the package. But what I'm going to ask is if you're going to apply. If you're going to apply, I'm going to send over all these supporting documents that you have. And he's going to get this. He's going to see these supporting documents. He's going to look over this. He's going to, he's going to know he's going to have a good tenant there. And so, okay, after they get your app, you know, anywhere, if they have everything that I give you, they should give us an answer in 24 hours. 48 tops. If you don't have these supporting documents, it could be three to five days. Now, each brokerage is different. They're gonna, they may want an extra pay stub or they may want the back of your driver. I don't know. But they're going to have already, they're going to have about 95% of what they need from you. So, anyway, if you're buying or selling or renting in Surprise or the, or the whole valley for uh, sale properties, Give me a call at 602-920-2201. I got some great incentives, guys. Um, if you're buying a place here and you need moving help, whether it's unloading a truck or a full move, if you buy or, or sell your home with me, I give you up to eight hours, two to three men at no cost. So it's free. All you have to do is sign off on my disclosures, and we get you squared away. Uh, if you rent a home from me, you can take 25 bucks off the total bill of your uh, move. So, again, rentsurpriseaz.com is my main rental site. And you can also check me out at newstartrealty.com and buysurpriseaz.com. Or give me a call or a text 24-7 at 602-920-2201. I hope everybody has a great day.